You're watching Channel 13 News. Now, Mary Ann McClary, Brad Johansson, Nathan Tannenbaum with the weather, and Ron Futrell on sports. Live, this is Channel 13 News at 5.30. One of the less glorious moments of Rebel basketball, last night's basket brawl after the game with Utah State. Good evening, I'm Brad Johansson. And I'm Ariane McClary. Our top story tonight, the punches flew last night as the teams headed for the locker room, as you saw there. A couple of Utah State players even had to have medical attention. And Ron Futrell joins us now. Ron, you almost have to look back at both of these coaches since the war of words has been simmering for a year now. Yeah, it was about a year year ago that Con Smith made the comments about the cars and the clothes. Joey Tarkanian was not willing to forgive Con for those comments. Now it's interesting. I think the two coaches have made up yeah. and, you know, and Tark has forgiven Con, but there was still a lot of heat being thrown, of course, uh, between the players yes, right. yeah. last night's game. UNLV officials responded to the brawl today in the Utah State game by suspending one player and putting another on probation. Backup center Chris Jeter will sit out three games for his part. Forward Moses Scurry is on probation until the university can take a look at the videotape to see Scurry's battle with Aggie head coach Con Smith. The fight started with seven seconds left in the game. Chris Jeter, walking off the court here, says he accidentally headbutted Aggie player Gary Patterson. Utah State players said Chris Jeter punched Patterson. He had to have ten stitches to sew up the cut. Then when the game ended, Jeter went over to the Aggie bench, and the big brawl began when Jeter punched Kendall Youngblood. The two head coaches run over to try to stop the battle, and it breaks loose along the sidelines here. Larry Johnson being held back there by referee Moose Dubing. In the middle of all this, Scurry, in street clothes because of his telephone suspension, gets into it with Con Smith and hits Con with a left to the jaw. We're going to show it to you again in slow motion. You can get a better look. Scurry is wearing the white sweatshirt, Smith in the blue sweater. You see the punch right there. Today, Scurry said he didn't know that he hit the coach. Gordon. Gordon, well, Gordon, you know, he tried to swing on me, so, you know, he tried to run, and I grabbed him, and I hit him, you know, because before he could hit me. So, I guess the coach started coming from the side. You know, what, I, what I'm saying, I'm going to see a coach, like, with a suit on or something. I saw somebody with a sweat on. You know, you look at him and see, you know, a coach always going to have a suit on. So, you know, I, he started coming at me from the side, and I, my reaction was, you know, I just hit him. You know, and that was that was the end of it right there. You did know, you I didn't know, know that was Coach Smith? No, I did not. I didn't know that was a coach. Not at all. I'm sure he didn't even know what it, who, who he was going after. I, you know, if you're if you're walking through and there's a, uh, it's, it, I don't think he went after Con personally. It didn't look that way to me. It just looked like he was swinging at everybody, and they were all swinging at him. I didn't I didn't think that he, he didn't zero in and go after Con. Now, Stephen Jackson joins us live from the Thomas and Max. Steve, you were there at the game last night. What did you see? Well, I have to tell you, I was concentrating on getting cameraman Dave Metter in a position where we could get a shot of Con Smith and Jerry Tarkanian. We wondered whether or not the two would shake hands in the light of uh, the things that have been said between the two schools over the past year. So we're getting that shot, and then suddenly I said, Dave, look up, there's a brawl down here in the corner. Very suddenly, we were very close to it, and I got to tell you, it was scary. It was ugly, and it was very scary. We have with us uh, right here tonight Athletic Director Dr. Brad Rothermill. Also in the background, you may hear uh, some basketballs bouncing in the background. North Carolina State working out for tomorrow morning's ball game against UNLV. Dr. Rothermill, uh, such situations, of course, we never like to see, but they do happen from time to time. Uh, and I'm just wondering, is there sort of a standing policy at all that the university, or even for that matter, the conference, the Big West Conference, has in dealing with these situations? Well, there isn't specifically in this situation, either at UNLV or in a conference, but some conferences have a rule in relationship to fighting. Mm -hmm. Now, you met with a variety of people today about this incident, and you told me earlier today that you were going to try to go over procedures that might be uh, taken uh, into account if something like this happens again in terms of security for the teams as they leave the court. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, we've reviewed our procedures, all the procedures for bringing teams on as well as leaving the court, and we believe that we now will have a procedure that will pre prevent these things from occurring in the future. Dr. Rothermill, I thank you for coming by. I know it's been a busy day, a hectic day, not all that much fun in the last 24 hours since last night's incident at the end of the Utah State UNLV contest. And uh, we'll have more later in the newscast, won't we, Ron? All right, Steve, thank you very much. Yeah, more coming up in sports on this. And uh, Jimmy Valvano, as you said, is in town. If, you t if uh, North Carolina State ends their practice in time, we'll have 
coming from Jim Valvano. Uh, again, if that practice is uh, ended in time. Also want to mention the Big West Conference is looking at the videotape. They now will make some sort of decision also on possible suspensions, probation, or whatever. But again, Chris Jeter, three-game suspension, Moses Curry, probation until they can find out what's uh, what's in the videotape. You saw a lot of it right there. They're looking at our videotape, too, to see what they can find out with the, the punching incident with Con Smith. We'll talk about it more in sports. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Ron.